Once upon a time. Roger. What? Uh, not now, dear. I'm, I'm telling a story. But, 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 but do come back later with tea. And uh, two digestive biscuits, if you wouldn't mind. This is the story of St. George and the dragon. Once upon a time, St. George rode into the town. The villagers were being terrorized by dragons. The Nazis, they uh, burned all the houses down, shot the children. Mothers were screaming, and they were flying too. The dragons over London, b -b 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 burning fire. We had to stop them, you see. And later we learned they were putting the villagers in ovens, hanging them from the street gaps. Some of the dragons were boys, had no youth. You see, I'd studied German, the great Goethe, Rilke, Hap, kind angst, kind, I said. They'd left him in the ditch to die. I don't blame them. We'd had to do the same ourselves. I didn't think of myself as a saint in the end. Maybe in the be beginning, when we were waiting in Dartmouth on the boat. We were on board for hours. I was frightened. I couldn't stop my hands from shaking. And then all of a sudden we were in Normandy. We were in the water. And my rifle sank. It sank along with Simpson, old chum. He couldn't swim. He didn't tell anyone. I tried to keep him afloat, but the bu bu bullets were ricocheting. And then I thought, oh, the water was so warm. Well, that makes sense. Dragons must like warm water. It wouldn't be swell to go for a swim. I sort of lost myself in those thoughts until Hughes, another chap, they shot him. His face sort of dissolved into itself, like water swirling down a plug hole. And then I thought it would most certainly not be swell to swim in all that blood. I found another rifle. I swam to shore, but uh, it wouldn't fire. So I just ran behind Peter's b -b 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 brown. They all fell. B -b Brown's head came clean off. Now, b -b Brown was the saint. He held my shaking hands when we were on the b -b -b boat, saying to me, I will not cease the mental fight, nor shall my sword sleep in my hand, till we have built Jerusalem in England's green and pleasant land. We had to fight the dragons, you see. So we marched to Berlin, but they tried to kill us every day. But then I saw the dragons were among us. It was George. They wouldn't keep his hands to himself. And with his great sword, he cut off her breasts. A German woman, we said, no, the sword is for the dragon. Not her, no saint would do that. We told them it was enemy fire for a report. I went to see his mother before I went to the sanatorium. I said, you were the last name on his lips. He loved you very much. And now I must butcher all these lies with my sword and paint a great red cross on the sea and across these green lands with the blood of the dragons and the saints. Because I don't know who Saint George is. I shot George in the back of his head like a card. Maybe I'm the dragon. Toodle pip. <laughs>